What's going on, Million Moves family? It's 2025 and we have a new update for the Million Moves algo version number 5. Usually I do one big update per year and in this video I will break down all the new banger features for you to improve your trading and to make trading much easier. Let's get started. All right, everyone, welcome to the tutorial. First things first, I just removed my current setup, which to what you get when you first add the indicators to your chart. This is the million moves algo indicator. If you don't see the indicator, you have to first go to your indicators tab and check the invite only scripts tab. Inside are all the indicators. If you don't see the indicators, you have to first go to the website. I put the link in the description below. Once you get your access, which is immediately after your checkout, it's automated. You just enter the correct trading view username and you get all the indicators. Let's get started. This is the Million Moves Algo version 5. This is the newest. It has all the new updates. Okay, let's open the settings by clicking on the settings wheel. And we start with the sensitivity. If I go higher with the value here, let's say 4, we will have less signals on the chart. And you can see here, we have less signals. A good thing about it is you have quality signals, but late entries. So as you can see here, we have a buy signal, it goes up. We have a buy signal, it goes up. We have a sell signal, there is a big drop, and so on and so on. You need to find the sweet spot when you use different charts. For example, you use Bitcoin or EJ, GJ, you have to find out your own sensitivity. That's your job to find the best sensitivity for your setup. So default is 2.5. Let's move on to the signals. We have three signal types, all signals, smart signals and smart plus signals. All signals means we see all signals on the chart. Buy, sell, everything is on the chart. Now, if I switch to smart signals, you will see this one is gone. Here we had a buy signal, it's gone. and Smart signal means we go with the trend. What does the trend mean? The smart signal works with the moving average. So we have here the 200 moving average. I will activate it to show you the line. And every time, every time the candle, the signal candle closes below, it's a smart sell. If the signal candle closes above, it's a smart buy. This can help you to just go with the trend. Boom, boom, you just go with the trend. That's a smart signal. A smart plus signal has some more additions to it and will just get the powerful smart signals. So that's a plus smart signal. We had a signal here and it's gone. So we just have this one as it's the most powerful. Here we have this. Here we still got this. You see we have less signals, but they are more powerful. Now let's move on to the gradient cloud. The gradient cloud was before the trend cloud. Now it looks much cleaner. The colors are more popping. You can always change all colors in the style tab here. That's the gradient cloud. It helps you to stay longer in the trend. If you see here, we have a buy signal and the price goes down. This is where most of the people panic and get out of their positions because price drops. But you see the trend cloud is still green. It helps you to stay in the trend. If the trend cloud changes the color, then you have to watch out. You have to be careful. But as long as the trend cloud stays in the same color, you can see how the thing goes. And right here, it starts becoming red. But you have more hints. You see, we were not able to make new highs. Here we make always new highs. But after that, we didn't make any new highs. Usually price has to go higher and higher and higher. But here you can see that the price just dropped to all the previous support lines this is the last line where you where you have to think hmm should i stay in the trade because here we had a pullback but we didn't drop below the previous low that's the difference once the trend cloud color changes we are in a bearish market you see it become red the candles become red and we have a smart plus signal and see what happens with the price that's how you use the trend cloud okay next up we have the support and resistance lines, SR lines. You can see it here. You can activate it by clicking here. Support and resistance means it marks the lows 
and the highs on the chart. It helps you to identify the direction. For example, here we are in an uptrend. We can identify the uptrend because the lows are always getting higher. Here it dipped down. In this case, it took out the liquidity. It goes up, people open a long position and mostly they will put their stop loss below the previous low. So gold tends to take out the previous low and then moves on. If you watch the chart, you can see here that we make higher lows. Every time we have higher lows. Here again, this dip takes out this liquidity here. And this is the case where we don't make new highs. This is the previous high, price goes down and it never goes above the previous high. So this is a bearish indication. It never goes up, it just goes down, breaks the previous lows. See this line here, moves down. This is the last support and after that, boom, price goes down. Here is the same thing. After a big drop, we need a retracement. Retracement means price needs to pull back. In this case, it pulls back into the gradient cloud. With the line here, you can see it took out the liquidity at this high. After taking out the liquidity, it drops again. Boom. And for the bearish trend, you can see price stops making new highs. It makes new lower highs. To become bullish, price needs to go up, go down and up again. But that's not the case. We move down and we create lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. This is the help you get if you activate support and resistance lines. But let's move on to the next Chaos Trend Line. Chaos Trend Line is a helpful line to identify trends. I would recommend that you not tick all the boxes that we have. So if you use the Chaos Trend Line, you need to deactivate some of the other things like the SR lines because it gets too much. The Chaos Trend Line works well, but just don't try to mix everything together. I would just remove the candlestick coloring too because it's too much for the eyes. Now you can see we have the Chaos Trend Line and the Chaos Trend Line is just simple to explain. If the line is straight, it means we are moving sideways. As soon as the line starts moving up or down, we have a trend. Here, the Chaos Trend Line stays flat, nothing really happens. Okay, let's move on to the next order blocks. Order blocks, this is my new favorite. Before we had the Smart Money Pro with the volume order blocks, but I use now the improved order block version here. And it's nice because you see it's green. It means it's a support. Once it's broken, it becomes resistance. What does it mean? Here the price is above, okay? This means it's the support line. The price can reject from here and move up and break these previous highs. But it didn't reject from here, it break through. So this becomes the new resistance. Now price has to battle with this area to move up again. And here is the next support. Price breaks through, it becomes red and it doesn't break through, it rejects. Boom, it moves down. This is how you use the order block. This is the easiest way of the order block. If it's red, it needs to break through. If it's green, it's the support. It needs to reject from there, okay? Next, this is the moving average. If the price is below, it's a smart sell. If the price is above, it's a smart buy. You can change the value. This will also change how the smart signals appear. So if I change it to 50, you will see we will get different smart signals and then move to a smart signal. And now you will see everything above still smart below it's also smart and just leave it on 200. Next one are the V lines. I use the V lines on the two minutes time frame with the sensitivity four. It basically helps you to understand when the signal will change. For example, here's a London open. Okay. And then I have my range here. I can see where price moves and I can exactly see where price have to move to become a buy signal. So here I know that when price closes above this line, it will turn into a buy position. So I can mentally prepare that I will have a, 
a signal there. This is how I use the wheel line and you can also use it as, for example, for your stop loss lines, here's your entry and the stop loss here is at the previous high of the wheel line and you can target one to one. Okay, you can use it again and again, you can use it as stop loss line. See here, it never touches the top area, it just drops hard. <laughs> Let's move on to the five minute time frame with the candlestick coloring. You have four options with the candlestick coloring. One is gradient cloud. The candlestick coloring gradient cloud is the same coloring as the gradient cloud. You see, as soon as you have the color change, it will change the candlestick coloring. One tip from me to have the colors more popping, you can go here to the three dots and do visual order bring to front. This will make the candlestick coloring full colored. Then the next one is V-line. V-line will color it the same way as the V-lines. You can see here, now we have the same coloring as the V-line changes. And the next one is Clean Scalper, which colors the candles the same way as our Clean Scalper indicator. A short explanation for the Clean Scalper coloring. You can see here, we have now the Clean Scalper coloring. Green means bullish, red, bearish, purple means undecided. That's the easiest explanation for it. I personally use now the gradient cloud as my default setting. Turn signals off means you just get rid of the buy and sell signals. Sometimes I use the chart without the buy and sell signals to have a clear picture without the signals. Next one is the dashboard, the million moves trend dashboard. Wow, received a great update. Now you can select the time frames. So what does it mean? The, the trend dashboard means without switching any time frame, you can see what the chart is doing. So for example, for gold, during this time, almost every time frame is red. Red means the following moving average type EMA. I have an explanation of all the different types you can select. But as a beginner, just remember, we have here the moving average length of 200. Everything below is bearish. Everything above is bullish. If I just check the dashboard, I can see only the daily time frame is bullish. Everything else is bearish. So what I'm going to do, I'm looking for sells and not for buys. If I have a buy signal on the chart and everything is red, do you think I will go with a bullish signal? No, I would wait for a new sell signal. See, everything is red. I have a buy, okay, it worked out, but it just went through the gradient cloud and then we got a sell and boom, a buy signal has no power if we are moving down on all time frames. This is the higher time frame confirmation which everyone talks about. And we have it just in the dashboard, easy to understand. You just check your dashboard and you know already what's going on on that day. So by default, we have one minute, two minute. This is checked, not the 10 minute, not the three minute. If you want, if you're trading, for example, on the one hour, you don't need the, the small time frames, for example. If you make your entry on the two minute time frame, it makes sense to have the five minute and the 50 minute and all the others activated. We personally, about 90% of the members are scalpers. Scalper mean on lower time frames, one minute to 15 minutes. So it means just leave it on the default settings. Dashboard size, you can change the size of the font size here. The position is top right, you can move it, for example, on mobile, maybe you will put it to bottom left. Use MA cross. This one is changes the calculation method of the trend calculation. So if I make use MA cross, I have a additional option. It says show lines on chart. If you click on this, you will understand how this is calculated. Wait a second. You will see what I mean. If you use the MA cross, it will check if the price is below the MA cross. Okay. You can see five minutes. We are below. It's red. I use it without the MA cross and I don't need the lines on the chart because I know if it says 200 EMA, it will calculate from the EMA. So I don't need it on my chart. And the next thing, what's really nice is you can remove this upper part because 
I don't need to see everything on the chart. Show time frames, uncheck and see what happens now. It will remove the time frames and just keep the average. This one I can explain it. It's easy. It's the average of all the time frames that we got above. We have, let's say, six time frames going down and one time frame going up. The average is down. I can just get rid of the time frames above and just look at the average. That's nice. Let's say I move to Bitcoin and it says average up. I know that my check time frames mostly are moving upwards. And the last one here is volume. Volume means you need volume to enter the market. If there is not enough activity, you will get stuck in your trade. Let's find an area where we have less volume. So this looks like we had not enough volume. Yes, as you can see the volume, it shows nothing. The volume is not there. So we don't enter trades just because you feel it. We don't enter. There is no volume, no need to enter. Let's move on and see when it changes. Now we got one dot for the volume. It's okay. As soon as it becomes green, you can enter a trade and see how it changes. Now we got four dots, volume picks up. And if I check the time, it's the opening time. This before was the market close and this was now the market open. And the volume will change with time. If we have enough volume, it will show that we have enough volume. And you need to always look if we have volume. That's it. Four is the max. One is good. Two is good. Three is good. Four is good. If there is a dash, it's not good. Okay, that's it. We move on to the next Millimove's dashboard colors. With the coloring, you can change the coloring of the dashboard as you want. You can, you can make this, for example, blue. What color you like, you can select it. Then we have the enable stop loss and take profit areas. If you activate this, this will help you because most beginners don't know where to put the stop loss. If you activate this, this is an assistant. It will give you a stop loss area and the take profit area. This is calculated by the volume. The range before decides how much of a take profit and stop loss you will get. If you are a person who works with a bigger stop loss, you can increase the value here for example or and you will get a wider stop loss and a wider tp that's it for that very easy the one minute hawk strategy you, that's a strategy that you can activate it's for gold uj it's explained in our telegram group if you become a member you have access to this strategy and there is a special video to explain exactly how the one minute hawk strategy works show tpx is the last setting in the Millimus algo and this is a reminder tpx will show you these little x signs you can see here we had a sell signal we had a massive drop and it reminds you to take profit because sometimes we forget to take profit like here we had a big push tp it's good to take profit because after that we have a correction we push up we have a tp tp sign take profit it's a good time to take profit that's it. That's the TP sign. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching the new Millimoves Algo version number five tutorial. In the next videos, I will give you some live setups, strategies, and how the other Millimoves Algo indicators work. Because I don't just use the Millimoves Algo, I use all my indicators together, and it makes sense, and you will understand in the next videos. See you soon.